Hello guys, it's your boy Jax for Jax Analytics, the host behind Jax Analytics. Today, I'll be addressing some of the questions that most people have asked me so far since I started um, this exposure into data analytics and uh, I'll put it into a Q&A questions and the questions will be coming up here while I give you the response, alright? So stay tuned. Well, this is a very good question. The funny thing is, I too myself have encountered that kind of um, experience in my life where I, I, I ask myself, where do I start from? How do I go? And then this is part of why it's not just about self learning. You need some sort of guidance, some sort of coaching. For me, the basis to all of this is to start from Excel spreadsheets. Back in 2018, that's when I started Excel. I started learning and speaking them all from the basics to the intermediate to the advanced level. I I kinda like I kinda like learned some of the basics of Excel and I saw the, the potentials of what I could do with Excel. That's where in fact that's for me that's where the interest grew in terms of data analytics. I saw the potential, especially from advanced Excel. I saw the idea of pivot table, the how the pivot table works, how the table works, understanding what a structured data means, understanding the tables, the columns and the rows. All of these things gave me some sort of fundamentals into what data is all about. For me, I would say the basics is to start from Excel. Don't rush, you don't need to, some of us want to just jump in, leave, leave one and jump into ten. You want to venture into data analytics and all you are thinking is you want to start maybe coding and it, it, it's not like to start coding is bad, but I just want to make sure that you start from the, the very basis, which is Excel, get to understand the concept. For me, Excel gives you the concept of what data means because data is simply an information but then when data is in a structured form which is a table logically you begin to understand how table works what a what a column means what a row means how do you combine all of these what do you make of it understand that a data can be dirty how do you know when a data is dirty what what is unclean data what is a clean data all of these things is what Excel will give you and this is part of why we in our tutorial session and on our YouTube we started from getting started with what Excel because for me that's the basis of everything you need to understand. Very good question. Now this this question is very very important because I know how it relates to me. When I started Excel, when I started data analytics. One of the things I struggled with was, as these people are doing this thing on YouTube back then, I used to ask myself, how do I know when to do this? How do I know when to do that? That is critical thinking. You, you need to, you need to start thinking for yourself. Some of, outside of the technical skills that you have, which is to learn to go, to learn to analyze these things, what helps you is your ability to, to see beyond what others see that is your your analyst your analytical mind your your problem solving skill and then your communication skills these things are very very important because especially in this time and age that we have ai where some 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 ai can even do some of these analysis for you in this world in the in the world of today you then ask yourself what then is is your need how can you fuse yourself to be a value where you are what can separate you is your what your your, your critical thinking your problem solving skills your your communication how do you interpret what you've done your your insights your delivery your presentations these are key soft skills that you need to go alongside your technical skills another very good question well many people have asked me this question in particular and it's a very good start especially for beginners people need to understand how to go and where to go and yes certifications are very very important but at the same time i must warn that certification is not all it's not everything that you need 
it is essential but not everything that you need however in terms of certifications certifications like uh, microsoft data analysis certification is a very good one i will also have google data analytics certification these are like professional certification i recommend uh, which can you know which, uh, which can send a very good signal that this person is, a, is, is serious because this certification requires you paying for your exam reading through the exam and then writing the exam it's not just a free certification you have to pay for it it, it takes you serious it shows that you have invested in yourself for you to even write these certifications that is one but the most thing i would like to add in, alongside the certification is portfolio in, in tech it's not just about paper what you have on paper even if you have all the whole certification in the world but you, you don't show it you don't give yourself that visibility that you, you don't you don't give some sort of evidence it it it, it, it can in most cases get you into 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 it can in most cases get you into to to have a chat with a recruiter but when you have a chat with a recruiter or what they call review call and they see that you, you don't really have much outside just your certification Mm, in most cases it doesn't take you anywhere what should one then add alongside certification what you should add is what to build a portfolio to build a portfolio for yourself imagine a photographer without an evidence you want to hire a photographer what's the first thing you do you want to see the works what the person has done if he, if he has done any job with any client before, if he has done any project, you want to see the, his, his, his album, his photo album, what his pictures look like. That is the way it is here. Regardless of the whole certifications you get, you need to show it. And you show it by what? Doing projects, a lot of projects, and put them up in your watch portfolio. Some of those projects we are building already. With, with what we are doing in our YouTube YouTube channel. All you just need to do is sit down, grab your laptop, and learn alongside. As you are building the portfolio, you build alongside with us. Build this project, create a portfolio, which as time goes on, I will guide you through how you can build your portfolio, create, um, create your own website where you can put all your portfolio in one for recruiters to see you and see what you are doing and see what your work is like. I bet it will take you a long place. Fantastic question. Now in terms of following up with trends, it's very, very important that you follow the industry experts in social, in some professional, professional, in quotes, professional social media platform, platforms like LinkedIn. Twitter as well. Why do you just go to your LinkedIn? If you don't have a LinkedIn account and you want to be, be in tech or be in the professional sector, I think the first thing you do is to first of all create presence in some of these places like LinkedIn, Twitter, Twitter professional profile for Twitter, not Twitter for driving. The words we see if you need professional we follow experts industry experts in these platforms you you get to see what's going on the latest in in the field a lot of a lot of people put a lot of things you see uh, professors you see great personalities in their field it, giving their takes about about features about the things that are going on you know that's one way of course twitter of course is a very good place for trends and you get to know what's going on in, in your sector all of these things comes from who you are following and they are very very important who you follow is is very very important to to for you knowing the trends because in your feeds that's how you see what they do and all that follow industry experts create presence in social media plus professional social media platforms like linkedin and twitter and then you, you can as well also follow repeaters as well to see the kind of job that they post and then see the see the kind of skills that they require some of these things can as well help you to direct you and know what's going on also follow yes to add follow companies that companies like microsoft uh, copilot fabrics uh, all these new, new technologies that we're having uh, 
ChatGPT, some groups in, in oh, most of these groups are in language. It helps you to know the latest trend in, in some of these texts and, and stay abreast of what's going on. And that's it for today's Q&A sessions. If you have more questions and that you wish to know, just put it in the comment section. Please like, comment, and share. And uh, I hope you like this one and um, you, you have some informative uh, information answers to us the questions. And if you have anything, please always, always put it in the comment section. You can DM me for any, any confusion or any guidance or anything. Please like, comment, and share. It's very, very important. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel, which I'll put down in the, in, in the comment section for some of this content tutorial we have tutorials on excel we have we have some projects we've started building for for power bi users as well so some of the and there is a lot more that is coming up on our youtube channel please follow me for more content and you won't regret it catch you